welcome all we will take up a few more examples on recursion say we have to write code for ackerman function but we have to do this using recursion what is ackerman function so ackerman function is this it says that if uh, the ackerman function of m comma n is given by n plus 1 if m is equal to 0 and the same function is given by it is equivalent to ackerman function for m minus 1 comma n comma 1 if m is not m is greater than 0 fine but n is equal to 0 and the third is that if both are greater than 0 m and n as well then it is the function applied on two values one is m minus 1 and then again the function is to be applied to m and n minus one the condition here is that m is greater than zero and n is greater than zero so this is the ackerman function which is used in mathematics so the function says that uh, the value of the of this uh, fun uh, function will be this function it may be three different values depending on the value of m and n if m is zero then the value will be n plus one if m is greater than zero but n is 0 then we will have to apply the same function on these two values m minus 1 and n and if both are greater than 0 m and n then you will have to apply this function on these two values first values m minus 1 second value you have to calculate using again a Kerman function on m and n minus 1 Fine. So this is a Ackermann function, and we have to implement this function. If we look at, look at this function, this function itself says that I can be solved using recursion because the, the function is to be calculated, and on the right hand side also the function is to be called. Here the function is to be called twice. So this clearly shows that the easiest way to solve this uh, function to implement this function will be through recursion so let us start writing code so we have to use recursion for implementing ackerman function Go to main and 
we will have to create a function ackerman okay before main we should declare that function so we here we know these m and n what are they they are positive integers so, so we can write it here that where m and n are non negative integers so since they are integers and the function will return an integer so we can write int we can say ek create a function ack ackerman function and uh, we have to pass uh, two values to this function m and n so it will be int comma int this will be the declaration of this function which we will define in near future coming back to main now obviously we will need two values that we will send to this function so we can put any two values and send to this function get the calculations so we can say print f enter the value for m and n fine then scan f what are the two values let us say we, can, we will store them again in m and n int m comma n then so we have two values m and n now we need to call the function the ackerman function and pass on this m and n to it so okay so this is the function we have passed m and n to it done and obviously this function when we will call this function and this function will do the processing and it will return an integer value we want to print that integer value so we can either store it in a variable then print that variable or we can directly write print f percentage d so the answer is percentage d what is that this is comma this is the value whatever this function will return that will be printed on the screen so the or main is done fine you can write return zero for this main function return zero now out, outside we will go outside the main and define this ackerman function fine and this ackerman function will have two uh, parameters let us again call them m and n you obviously can name them with any other name so for simplification let me say let me call it again m and n these will be local variables to this ackerman function so here m and n will be passed here they will be copied to m and n now what is the ackerman function it is here so very easy there will be three conditions three ifs the first if says that if m is equal to zero the first if says that if m is equal to zero then then the answer is n plus 1 if m is equivalent to 0 the answer is n plus 1 so this function should return m plus n plus 1 
and we are done then the second condition says that if m is greater than 0 n is equal to 0 so we can write here else if m is greater than 0 and n is equal to 0 if there is this condition then what is the answer it is again applying the same function to these two values so it means recursion so we have to again call this Ackermann function so what is to be returned we have to return uh, but before returning we have to call that so we have to again call this same itself so this Ackermann function will call itself for m minus 1 and 1 it will call itself for m minus 1 and 1 this is also done now third condition is if both are greater than 0 okay we should write here else if m is greater than 0 and n is greater than 0 so if both are greater than 0 what is the answer answer would be recursion so this is a so we have to write this thing here recursion here also recursion call itself the answer will be return what we have to return we will have to return first we will call ackermann function inside it we will write m minus 1 comma then again call ackermann function for m comma n minus 1 this is exactly the same thing which is here Ackermann m minus 1 comma Ackermann m comma n minus 1 so for this function we just mapped the equations here using recursion let us save this program as Ackermann recursion dot c compile so this is stdio fine compile okay then run enter the value of m and n so let us enter them carefully let us see let us for the first condition m should be zero so if i put m equal to 0 and i put n equal to 2 for example so m is 0 n is 2 0 2 so m is if m is 0 answer should be 2 plus 1 that is 3 so the answer is 3 let us run it again the second condition says that m is greater than 0 but n is 0 so let us say m is 2 but n is 0 okay then what should be the answer it should be this condition is being satisfied so answer should be the Ackermann function should be called for m minus 1 comma 1 so when we will call this for m minus 1 it will become Ackermann function of 1 comma it will become m is 2 n is 0 so m is 2 it will become Ackermann function of 1 comma 1 fine so 1 comma 1 again this function will be called 1 comma 1 is satisfying here so it will go here it will become Ackermann function of 0 comma Ackermann function of 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 again will be called so 1 comma 0 is here which means Ackermann function of 0 comma 1 which again will be called and it will become this condition will be satisfied for 0 comma 1 and it will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 so this 
function will return to fine so this is two now this is two and what about this this is zero zero comma two so for zero comma two the answer should be three fine zero comma two m is zero so answer should be three so the answer is three can again run it we can put uh, again some values in it for example we put value we put both positive we put one and one so what will happen this is one and one third condition will be satisfied so one and one is m and n so it will become here zero comma one comma zero right so one comma zero a of one comma zero is here so it will become a of zero comma one is here so that will become two so the answer here will be two this two will come here fine so it will become a of zero comma two so that comes out to be again three So in this case also it will be three. 